if you're rocking any sort of modern iPhone, here are five tips or things you should know how to do on your phone. The first is music recognition built right into Control Center. This works well if the music is loud enough and it makes a good party trick. To enable this, go to Settings, down to Control Center, and then hit the green plus icon next to Music Recognition, which is just Shazam built into the phone now. To actually use it, you just pull down in Control Center and then tap that icon. And when the song is recognized, you get a pop-up. Now you can tap that pop-up to get more information about that song. Usually I just screenshot it. I've personally used this dozens of times and it works like 98% of the time. Next, did you know that you can zoom in and out on Apple Maps and Google Maps with one finger? This comes in handy if you don't have both hands accessible. If you double tap the screen and then after the second tap, you slide your finger up or down, it zooms in and out. Usually it's a pinch to zoom in and out. And when you have one finger, it will just move the map, but double tap, slide your finger, and you got one finger zoom. I feel like most people don't know about this one, so there you go. An extra bonus tip here, if you take your thumbs and pull them down, you can actually get an angular look. This works really well in Apple Maps with this layer turned on. This is a cool hidden thing that I, I feel like most people don't know about either. Another neat trick you can do with iPhones is use the back as a button. If you're like me and you sometimes have difficulty turning on the flashlight without 3D touch, Listen up. You can set either a double tap or a triple tap. And there's a bunch of pre-made options to choose from, like camera, lock rotation, screenshot, or search. To enable back taps, go to settings, accessibility, and then in touch, scroll all the way to the bottom. Now, I personally haven't gotten this down pat. Like, it works maybe half the time. As you can see, I'm trying to enable the flashlight. One, two, three and it works not all the time, maybe you'll have better luck doing it, but that setting is there. Here's a tip that I suggest everyone watching this video go into their settings to make sure you have enabled. Go into settings, scroll down to camera, and first of all, make sure you're recording at 4K 30. It's 2021, almost 2022. You shouldn't be recording in 1080 anymore. And then up top where it says formats, Choose most compatible. High efficiency uses a specific format that's not universally compatible yet. So I suggest sticking with H.264 or most compatible. And bonus tip here, turn off stereo sound recording. It can screw up your audio by just trying to do too much. I've turned it off on my iPhones. And last but not least, I gotta give a shout out to Brandon Butch for this one. If there's an app that you use that somehow doesn't have dark mode yet, Here's a good workaround. In settings, go to accessibility and then scroll all the way to the bottom to per app settings. Add the app that you want to have dark mode and then inside the settings, choose smart invert on. Now, when you go to that app, the colors will be inverted, giving you a sort of dark mode workaround. If you've watched this far, chances are you're a tech nerd like I am. I live and breathe gadgets and the internet, and I pride myself in being an early adopter of new tech. And I made this crew neck to represent my love for technology. It's available at samshefford.com. And big thank you to everyone that's bought one so far, and thank you for watching.